Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the final mission of the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to get toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with the most difficult set of mods that has ever been installed. I first of all notice Roby is not with us, so the Rift Beacon summoning as well as the Rift Keeper Prime that we had under our control is gone. I was hitting the return key a couple of times just to make sure that our cooldowns are being uh, completely up. And once the whole uh, slate of uh, talky talky is over, we can actually go in and start. So always uh, there will be kind of the first avatar plus potentially double uh, um, Archon, at least that's what it's normally, will be over there. In terms of cooldowns we still have a uh, sellotip turret so might as well use that right away there's no point in not doing that can you please for the love of god shut the up because i want to comment uh, what that last mission is about and there is really no need for any of your interruptions thank you okay as i was saying we can use all of our um, summonings. In this case, we're going to go with the selected turret. Um, in terms of cooldown management, it was so and so. We've used a few mini rockets, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it was bad. Uh, I could have done a bit better, uh, but we also got to appreciate just how many hit points we needed to chuck through. And the double Rift Keeper Mark II pack was yeah something else we still got uh, enough uh, enough options to uh, to re relocate so our jumps uh, with the armor the met and uh, jetpack are still good to go Cannon should approach from back here. Dilly next turn should be able to get up there. Guys, can you please just shut up for one second? I, I'm i trying to position, okay? Thank you. Nothing, really nothing that you are saying currently is in any form relevant. Specifically you, Bradford. Okay, so, as I was saying, here I come. we're going to focus on this corner here. And I would like it is clear. to step in next turn. Uh, let's use the Salator turret in this corner we're trying to limit the field of vision that will mean that the avatar is not j bouncing around too much i can hear something Very good. Well, that's a bit of a different pack than normally. They got a few Venators on top. Destroyer command, uh, Commando. Okay, interesting. Good. We are going to borrow that destroyer commando. Good. We got the avatar there. And that really means 
I'm going to start very much spamming on it. Euler shreds it. Hits it very hard. It's down to 13 hit points. And somehow manages to just get all the way over there. Fantastic. Not a hundred percent hit. That is annoying. Oh, wow. Good, let's get that perch mech down. Death from above hits nicely. And this here should at least force the avatar to come back. Venator times two. You know, we could position ourselves in the middle. The Venator explosion would make that a bit rough. Hmm. Move up to here. Double shot kill. Not the worst. Uh, not the worst idea. Okay, well. Shall we do that anti magnetic minigun first? It's a bit of a warm up. Greetings. Sure, why not? Um, yeah, let's force him to clone. Ah, uh, that's a good position for a clone. That should be a kill. Oh, come on. The crit. Thank you. Enemy down. Nah, we don't need to move. I much rather would like to do advanced teamwork. And that means this Venator is also down. I just want to make sure we're not going to see any other stupid Venators coming in. Solidly took the high ground. And I tell you what, um, we could charge up and try to go for um, blade storm attacks, but I don't think that that is a good idea. Instead, Grell over here could give an aid protocol. Again, not needed really. 
Uh, we're summoning one explosive ripper, maybe. Or, hmm. I mean, we could position ourselves here and just really wreak havoc. Uh, wreak havoc. Potentially the right thing to do because the next avatar is going to spawn here in the north, uh, in the north side of the map. Get a ripper out. That provides us with line of sight. Scanning. Well, overwatches. We could pull someone to there. Not needed yet. Instead, Salata turret moves up. Overwatches as well. And we're overwatching here. Good to go. What are we going to deal with? Faceless ones, okay, yeah. Not a problem. Normal mutants, okay, cool. Still good, still good. So I am wondering um, what's the best position for us to be? I think for now we're moving closer and we're just getting more bodies on the field. The ghost will help us immensely with all of the dodge. Just has 12 hit points, but overall still very strong. Oh, I forgot we even got uh, this here. Energy shield. Uh, sure, that's a heal for everyone. Might as well take it. Nice. Doesn't have the range, by the way, I'm misleading because it ended the turn. It looked like it would not end the turn. Cannon could be positioned in the middle if we actually want to fight all of them. Currently, we're still good. Lots of mutants. So I tell you what, we're reloading. Might as well put cereal in because there's no reason not to. Get the first guy down. We're taking a really solid position here on the left hand side and yeah all of our expendables plus our tank can hit the right hand side. Templar moves up.
stands, uh, stands as a ghost in the middle of them. And might as well parry because that will buy us an entire turn. Not a kill, but a good uh, bit of damage. And since we have hair trigger, it's actually a kill. Serial drops in. Rel moves up. Overwatches. Euler could move up a bit more aggressive, but we can at any point tongue pull him closer if we really need to. For now, he's actually fine. Should we tongue pull him and then next turn? The avatar spawns, yeah, why not? What's over there? Moves into full cover and big fat kill zone. Just like that. We still have domination left over, we haven't even used that. We are dealing an insane amount of damage overall. Implacable, well, might as well go over here. Another kill zone, and we're good. The avatar spawns on the other side this time. What a tease. must say quite a few enemies uh, came with him this time Templar Ghost parries the first attack ah, got hit by the second one unfortunately Selected the next one, good job. Unfortunately, Dilly G's kill zone really didn't do much. At least our overwatches went reasonably well all right avatar starts to get hit oh not the best choice of position, shall we say. It's 
100% hit, so might as well just reload and X gonna give it to him. Nice little shredding, by the way. Avatar sits in full cover. Which again will not help him. Well, I could move to here. That's one option. The other one is a big fat uh, barrage first and then shoot second. And I think that's the right play. Good job. Now, wait a second. We do have death from above, so might as well just use that. Easy peasy. Oiler clears the house. Uh, how many reloads do we have? Still four, yeah, because they recharged when we ch uh, changed the zone. Ooh. Nice rupture. Good, Dilly has a 100% kill there. Uh, and might as well just start with it, really. Not a 100% kill. Let's see, what else can we do over here? Uh, if we were to give, uh, to deal a bit more damage, uh, we could even clean out that corner. The rocket Barrage, however, doesn't really last uh, re uh, re uh, reach that far. Mon Avatar moves up. Can Overwatch. Can't we Psy pull? That sounds like an awesome ability. Good. We're moving closer. We have one more round uh, to tank with him. And the Sellator turret also moves up. Cool. Perry over here. And I think Sonar is really just overwatching. Uh, we could, wait a second. Nope. Well, we could reposition to here and then bombard all of that. And then clean up with Hogbite. Hmm. Also run and gun and save our good old jetpack. I think we're going for the run and gun 
the strategy. Moving to designated coordinates. hit or should I rather say hits multiple time for Reaper and even more time for some absolute mean damage yeah, we're being targeted doesn't matter But is still ready to go. Six points of damage. Could kill that bio trooper, but hmm. Yeah, the problem is the Crusader might not die. Let's start with the Biotrooper. That's a sure kill. Followed by the Rocketeer. by the Crusader. Okay, come on. Could go for the Collector Drone. Ah, the Bishop will not work. I mean... Yeah, that would deal damage, but wouldn't kill them. And then we're stuck up there, which I don't want. There is no great out. No, we're just going to go for the assassin. Cool. Take some extra damage. That's fine. And then we're back. Just your everyday little massacre that happened. We still have a protocol, which I would like to give to Sonar. And then we're overwatching ourselves and I noticed the enemies are not keeping up with our strength. Haven't even used half of the team. The aliens are getting shanted, uh, shafted really, really hard. Yeah, threat assessment worked. Good protocol. The aliens take the little wins that they can get, such as the Salated Turret. Yeah, we're immune, buddy. Immune and untouchable. Reflect. All right, good. One point of damage. It's good. It's all good. Mm. 
Nice. Well, not so cool. Last avatar is going to spawn next round. So we just gotta hold out. Hold on to what we've got. Doesn't really matter if we make it or not. We got each other and that's a lot. Is what the bond mates are thinking. So shall we just start with a moderate big fat Void Rift here. I think we shall. Alright. I like what I'm seeing. The commander has spoken. Some more damage. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good old magnetic gun. This is gonna hurt. Triple damage. Multiple targets down. Good. Free reload here. I still have so many cooldowns left over. We haven't even started. Wish I could throw that back there. All right. Still have domination. Good. It's quite boring because you would assume that you do uh, get some. Uh, well, let's let's uh, enjoy that it crashed again. Okay, back replayed it. This time I could kill him, and we're continuing with our kill streak. For a moment I thought, oh my gosh, did we really just botch it again? But no, we did not. My mind is my weapon. That assault trooper surely cannot reflect psionics. Very good. One, time, thousands to go. One side is good to go. The other side, however, is pretty much white in the open. <laughs> okay, the two of them hate each other. Uh, we got 11. Would that be a kill? Yes, it would. You know what? Why not? Reaper. That removes all of the shields. Great. Uh, not so great that we can't kill them right away. Um, we could move to here and then simply vault, which is an AoE attack that should hit all of them. I think that's not a bad idea.
Good, hitting that shield bearer as well. That will set these guys up for a kill. And now it's time for Sonar to do his slashy slash things. Enemy eliminated. One down. Another one down. see before doing anything uh, rushed we indeed can kill some of them this guy for instance A bit closer. Very nice. Just trying to set them up so that our abilities will actually kill them. Uh, we're moving the Templar Ghost all the way up there. This orientation might mean that we're not getting the the blade storm attacks. Good, that's some more damage. We have still untouchable. And that's a solid kill. The other mutant will run into us and trigger a blade storm. Finally. Come get some. Well overwatches. And we're done. Last uh, Avatar is supposed to spawn. I've never seen him spawn over there. Maybe I'm just blocking his spawn, which is crazy. is always coming in with like eight nine troops but the only thing that matters now is how to deal with the avatar Ghost will likely die. That's quite unfortunate. Unless they really focus on our mind controlled uh, soldier. Yep, they do. <laughs> okay. I guess. That's also strategy. Templar Ghost survives with two hit points. Well, I can tell you something. 
the avatar will definitely get out of here sacrificing the ghost dealing some solid damage and avatar moves over there okay cool yeah Um, we got chain shot. Easy. Euler shreds him completely. Avatar down to eight. Jumps into the middle, and I think for writing the diaries, Dilly G is uh, go given the honor of the final shot. Baboom! Well, that concludes the, the mission and the Royal Rumble campaign. I wouldn't have guessed if you guys would have told me that uh, we're going to see this through until the very end, that it is actually possible. I specifically designed the campaign to be like impossible to beat, but yet again I underestimated just how much power creep uh, you are getting throughout the campaign. As the time went on and we got all of the imbalance tools, all of the great weapons, uh, the ultra hard armor, the turrets, the spawnable drones, and so on and so forth. We uh, finally uh, could fight against double enemy squad size and even 350, 400 hit points a pack were not a problem anymore. The Prime team was just fantastic. Every single one of them uh, ultra hardcore soldiers in their own regards. Like we're, we have seen 30 hit points, five armor, 100% dodge tanks and 130 140 uh, to hit monster monsterious uh, death from above uh, damage dealers so that was really good i enjoyed it it's potentially one of my favorite campaigns that i've uh, that i've played so far the highlights certainly have been the diary of uh, dilly g to uh, to start with that the memes around the campaign um, a lot of uh, the just positivity the many many uh, comments that you guys wrote but also the ultra hard firefights that uh, that we had the quote, uh, quote unquote uh, downsides really had been for me the lack of stability with all of uh, the mods i think it, just too many enemy mods it wasn't even the pc at the end it's just the game that became highly instable then the variety of enemies led uh, to an oversaturation in the end so it was also a small downer and then potentially the other downer was the idea of the royal rumble campaign just forced me into playing essentially a two years worth of campaign maybe you um, enjoyed uh, the 90 episodes but for me after episode number 50 i could see a certain trend um, towards being able to actually um, win the campaign and whenever that happens I typically want to finish instead of dragging it out until the very very end but overall I hope you found it enjoyable it was certainly quite an achievement uh, one that I am proud of and uh, a very very hardcore fight if you enjoyed it as well then I only have uh, one sing uh, single and simple request tell someone about it um, however you do it go to your best friend someone who's interested in XCOM find a forum reddit whatever um, spread the good word uh, to make the campaign a little bit visible for more people to enjoy we will see each other in the next uh, campaign which is likely going to be either a solo campaign or one together with a uh, tap cat and hopefully it is going to be just as uh, mind wrecking and fun as this campaign has been thank you so much for watching guys and see you the next time when we save earth bye bye all right short aftermath 
because I would have uh, hated myself if we wouldn't shortly go through the stats. Missions 1, uh, 84, which is about 30 or 40 more than uh, typically. Uh, on top of it, we had 11 missions lost. So that's 100 missions right there. The least a few missions were flawless. That is uh, fun. Uh, we got uh, 3068 uh, aliens killed. I know a normal legendary run barely clocks a thousand, a bit more than that. We have 102 soldiers lost. <laughs> well, it is war. What, um, uh, we're not going to sugarcoat it. This is quite a bit, yeah. Average uh, successful uh, shot percentage, uh, pretty much when you are going into the end game, it's almost 100%. We got uh, all of the chosen killed, uh, way longer until first chosen kill. Uh, kills by faction heroes were good. Global ability points uh, earned, uh, well, that cannot be true, this is false. Lots of covert actions completed. Uh, so that is true Took us longer until uh, first kernel uh, than, uh, than normal and Yeah, we had quite a few kernels at the end. That's true and two massive psychers Beam weapons took a long time, but this year is the real killer days to plate at armor 94 I remember 100 days without plated armor, that was bad. I uh, got the entire world, uh, collected a bunch of stuff, so yeah. Anyways guys, that was it. Just a short epilogue. Take care, bye bye.